What's the crack, guys? Forgot what the video is. What's the crack, guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Kazzy, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the book series that I will not be continuing with. I'm the kind of person that if she likes the first book, she literally goes out, buys the rest of it, and they just sit there gathering dust until I remember, oh yeah, I have all of those to read. But in this video, these are the books that I am never going to purchase the next book of because I did not like it one bit. These are the ones that are just in my bookshelves at the moment, not on the outside. These are the ones that are probably sitting back there, never to see the light of day, but I need to dig them out to get rid of them and give them on to new homes because they're just taking up space on my bookshelves and I need that kind of real estate. So I have 11 book series that I'm going to be talking about today. So let's just get into them. The first book that I'm going to be talking about is the Shadow Game series by Amanda Foody, which starts off with Ace of Shades. I read this book last year and I did not like it. It is pegged as Six of Crows meets House of the Rising Sun. Nope. I disliked it. I did not like it at all. I could not get my head around the currency system. It was just stupid to me. I hated all of the characters. I think I liked the villain a little bit more than I despised the rest of them. I did not get to grips with any of it. I was confused by most of it. And then I just skimmed the last 100 pages. So I'm like, I don't want to read this at all. I am not going to continue with this. Even if I, even if somebody says that the next book is the best book of all time, I will not be reading it because I just did not like it. Oh, and I'm disappointed because the book cover is just gorgeous and I don't want to get rid of it because it would just look beautiful on a bookshelf but I'm gonna have to because I'm annoyed by it and I'm annoyed that I spent money on a book that was crap. I won't continue on with the Winter Night trilogy that I think it is by Catherine Arden which starts off with The Bear and the Nightingale. I hated that book. I wanted to love it so so much. I was so intrigued by the whole story of this girl being raised in the wilds of Russia and that her mother get, died giving birth to her even though she knew that she was going to die as soon as she gave birth. She was told that when she had this baby she was going to die and that the grandmother, the nanny or whatever, had this gem that the father said to get rid of because he was given it by somebody mysterious and said give this to your daughter. She will need it but he was like no get rid of it. Uh, but she kept it until the girl was older. I did like the start of it and there are bits of it that I'm seeing in King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo that she's doing a lot better than what Catherine Arden did. It hit a lot of my pet peeves when it comes to books. I was confused by what was going on because just the writing wasn't particularly cohesive to me. It didn't flow well. I did not like it. I did not like the ending. I just was not interested in it whatsoever. I wasn't interested in the characters, what was going to happen to them, what was going to happen to this place. No. So I, I've already gotten rid of the book, so I'm not going to continue with it. I'm also not going to continue on with The Flame and the Mist by Renee Adier. I wanted to continue with it and then they redesigned the book cover to make it look hideous. I don't know why they went with that new kind of design for the book cover because it makes it look so much younger and just like a cheesy romance novel that just happens to be set in um, Asia. No, I know that's a very petty reason for not wanting to continue on with a book series but I'm not going to purchase it when it looks like that. I might get it on e-reader. I don't know. I might get it off of iBooks. I just don't know. But for now, I'm not going to continue on with it because the books just look horrid. Especially when the first one just looks so amazing. I'm going to keep the first one for definite because it is gorgeous and I really enjoyed the book but I'm not going to continue on. The Daughter of the Pirate King, not going to continue on with it. I hated the first book. I gave that one star when I read it. Alosa, for somebody that was supposed to be so kick-ass and badass and a female pirate captain, she was pretty pathetic. What was it? Raiden? was the love interest. Oh my god, he was pathetic. In my opinion, I really hated him. He was pathetic for somebody that was supposed to be, you know, the brother of this really, really badass pirate. No, I hated that book. I really wanted to just like throw it off the ship when I was reading it. I thought maybe the ending might save it, but it did not. I finished it on the plane on the way home and I was just like, this was crap. So I'm not going to continue on with it. Heart of Iron by Ashley 
post and <clears throat> I'm torn between this one because I really adore Ashley Poston, but I was thoroughly disappointed by Heart of Iron because there were times when I felt like it was literally out of Anastasia, the animated movie, and not so much Anastasia Romanoff. When I read the book, I wasn't particularly interested in any of the characters, none of them really grabbed me. I liked the story fine, but there was just something about it that just didn't gel with me so much that I was like, oh my god, I need the next one. I might get the next one further down the line, but at this moment in time, I'm not going to continue on. One book series that I might change my mind on and people might be able to persuade me to change my mind on is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. When I read the first book, I was so, so ready for it. I devoured the first like 20 to 50 pages. I was really loving it. And then half of the book was just so boring and I am sorry, but when you're a bad guy, kind of good guy slash bad guy kind of slash leader of all of these sides is called Clancy. All I see is a young chief Wiggum. Not gonna lie. That is all I saw whenever I was reading this book. All I could just like see is a bigger version of Ralph Wiggum from The Simpsons. That's all I could see. And the last half of the book was just so boring. I really don't want to read the rest of this. I know people say that it gets better. I might read it if somebody can convince me to do so. Let me know, is it worth continuing on with? Is The Darkest Minds worth it? Because at the moment, I don't see it. Black Widow by Margaret Stoll. Fucking hated it. That was the biggest character assassination that I have seen in a book. It follows Black Widow from Marvel, right? Natasha Romanoff right? She is supposed to be one of the best of the best at what she does, which is assassinations. She was trained in the Red Room. She was trained to be like merciless. But in this book, she is a fucking kitten. I got that book as a birthday present for my friend and she loved it. And Black Widow was one of her favorite characters. I read it and I hated it. Black Widow was probably top 10 for me. She's probably like number seven. That book was so pathetic at trying to in capture what Black Widow is like. Just because you're like, oh, hey, this is your brother. What? It was just crap. And there is another one, um, Red Vengeance or something like that. No desire whatsoever to read it. So never continuing on with that bullshit. I'm not interested in continuing on with Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake. It just does not interest me. I liked the ending. I liked how it ended, but it just didn't grab me enough that I was like, I need to know what happens next. It just didn't grab me enough for me to say, say I need to know what happens next because I really don't. I don't want to know what happens next. If I want to know what happens next, I can just look it up and just like saying, oh, okay, yep, yep, yep. Okay, right, that's fine. I don't need to know how I got there. I have no interest in continuing on with Spellslinger by Sebastian de Castell. I read Spellslinger in 2017 and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the magic system, the talking squirrel cat. The characters were fine, but there are other books that are on my shelves that inspire me to read them more than the rest of the series of Spellslinger. Who knows, maybe further down the line in years and years and years to come and I like see it and I'm like, hmm, I remember reading the first one. At the moment, I'm going to keep the first one because it is gorgeous. It's a gorgeous cover and as I said, I did like it. So it's not like in the case of Ace of Shades where I hated the book, love the cover, and I'm going to keep Spellslinger because I like the book and I love the cover. We shall see. It might end up in a book on haul at some point. Who knows? But for now, not interested. And the last series that I'm going to talk about is Tales from the Kingdom by Sarah Pinborough. I actually had the bind up of the books, which is Poison, something or other, something or other. And they are fairy tales retold, but from the villain's perspective. In the first one, it is Snow White, and it's from the evil stepmother's perspective. And why did she poison Snow White? Why did she want rid of Snow White? Each one follows a different story. I only read Poison. It was um, interesting. It was like Disney princesses meets porn. Uh -uh. 
Not for me. Not one bit. It was so bad. So I have no interest in continuing on with that. And because of that, I have no interest in reading anything by Sarah Pinborough ever. So there you have it guys. Those are the book series that I will not be continuing with, even though some of them I could be persuaded to continue with. Let me know in the comments down below what book series you have DNF'd and why are there any here that you've DNF'd? Or are these some of the ones that you actually want to pick up at some point? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.